So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to balance a glide cam. Uh, this is the HD 1000. This will work for the HD 1000, HD 2000, HD 4000, and it's also going to work for the new iGlide coming out as well. Um, I will have one specifically for that uh, unit coming up as soon as I get that unit in. Um, moving forward, I'm going to try and keep this below 15 minutes. Um, the better, the faster, everything. Uh, so first, you want to make sure that everything on your top plate is ready. Now by ready, you want to make sure all line capses are completely off. Don't forget about that. You want to make sure that the camera is on. You want to make sure that your lens is facing in the direction that you want on here. And you also want your screen to be where you want it as well. As for my sake, I like to keep it back here and down all the way. Um, you also want to make sure that everything's nice and tight up here on top as well. Um, and basically picking it up here, we can see that, uh, well, let's throw it off balance. Let me loosen these up. This is the pitch, and this is the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna throw this completely off balance. Okay, so if I pick this up, it is nowhere even near balance right now, okay. So first thing that I do first is I always make sure that my bottom portion is facing straight forward. I've tried it this way in the past where the bottom faces this way and the camera would face this way. Um, it works, but I hit too many things. So I figured this is the best place meant for the bottom. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that that is nice and straight. Um, just for now, put it anywhere here. Um, you can put it closer to the bottom in terms of vertical position of the bottom. Uh, lift it up and we're going to test out, okay, so it's going way far to the left and it's going to the front as well. Actually, this is completely top heavy. So first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to extend the bottom out because it is top heavy and I don't want it because I won't be able to balance it. Okay, so first it is, okay, so we can tell that it's bottom heavy right now because I'm lifting it up. When I let go, it drops this way, so it's bottom heavy. Um, Next we are going to, let's see, it is going too far to the left. So we are going to take this little mechanism here, spin it, and move it to the right. And we are getting close. That was actually really good. Okay, so we are definitely close. And actually this is still slightly not straight. Let's spin this. Good, okay. All right, so we are looking at that. Okay, good. All right, so we're looking at that really good. Okay, so left to right wise, we're pretty good right now. Now it's leaning lightly forward, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, let me change this way, so you can see that it is just about right. So I mean, just playing with these little knobs here and there, um, brought the center of balance pretty good, but I can't fit call it game over yet. Let's just tighten these down really quick just to make sure they don't fall out of place because my drop time is way too fast. This drop time from A, point A, to point B needs, needs to be approximately 2.5 seconds. Um, well, that's what I've learned from experience and also from Devon Supertramp as well. Um, if we drop it from here, one, two, that's not even close. So we are going to just drop it down. We are going to drop it like a top. All right, let's try it out now. So we got no movement at all. Okay, not even close. So that's too far. Bring it right back up. Now we could add weight to the unit itself on the bottom. We could add another plate. I just have one plate here, one plate here. That's it. I have a Manfrotto um, quick release plate. The camera on top, it's light. It's very, very light. The unit overall is, I would say, probably about two pounds. I could upgrade to the 2000, but I'm not gonna worry about going the up, up to uh, the HD 2000. Um, drop time, let's see what this is at now. One, two. That's pretty good. Um, now, after you get down a decent drop time, um, not exact, but decent, you're gonna go back to a pitch. Because the center of gravity, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get the center of gravity into the middle of the gimbal, right here. Um, 
So obviously we're leaning slightly to the left and I'm not too worried about this front to back motion because it's looking pretty dead on. Um, so we are going to go loosen up the bottom and we are too far to the left so we're going to move it to the right. So just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, okay, so just a little bit, that didn't do much so we're just going to go a little bit more. Just a little bit. Let it go. Okay, we're still... Well, we're, there we are. We got it pretty much vertically, straight up and down. We're good. Okay. But I do have a pitch. And let me tighten up the bottom here so it doesn't shift left to right anymore. I'm going to spin it to the side because so you guys can see this. Okay. So I have a good balance from left to right. Now you can see I'm tipping forward. Very minimal, but that does play a big role. Um, so we're going to loosen up the top one. And we're just going to go back a little bit, just a little. And I'm going to hold it forward. And we are still just a little forward. And hold on. I don't have any bubble levels on here. My camera has a level built into it. So it shows me on screen the pitch and the yaw back and forth. Okay, that's dead on. Dead on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten these down, all four of them. Okay, so we are tight down. Okay, and we're going to hold this like so, make sure that we are good. Let's check the drop time one more time. One, two, and again. One, two, I like it. If I wanted to, I could move the drop time to roughly about three seconds, but I don't want to. Um, I'm actually going to start recording on my camera now. Uh, let's yeah, ISO is way up. Okay, so we turn the ISO way back down. Okay, um, just so you guys can see what it's like to have a balanced glide cam. So going left to right, you can see it's not doing anything at all. This is perfectly balanced. I can go ahead and I can pull off those Devon Super Tramp moves. And this is perfect. That is my tutorial of balancing a glide cam in less than 15 minutes. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions about my setup, leave them in the comments below. If you found that this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Um, it helps me out, and I'm also going to be doing another review of the iGlide that I'm getting. Um, that will be strictly for like cell phones, iPhones, um, copyright to Apple. Uh, the, I'm going to be getting the Galaxy Note 3, so I will be shooting um, on an iGlide in 4K, and I'm very, very excited for that. Um, Again, any questions, please leave them below in the comments below. Um, comment, like, subscribe, share if you found this helpful. Um, thank you very much.